I just love smelling guys. Um, no. My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. Yeah. My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. I like this time. Um, if you're watching this, I hope you're having a lovely day. So in today's video, I'm going to do an updated what's in my bag with the Alexander Wang Mini Rogue. And this is a bag that I have now for quite a while. So I also feel like it's very appropriate to do a designer bag review at the same time. So you can see what's in my bag, what fits in this bag, and what I think of this bag and if it's worth the price. I personally love watching designer reviews. I think they're so helpful and so informative. And I just love looking at beautiful designer stuff. But if this is not your type of video, that's totally fine. You can just watch the what's in my bag part or don't watch this video at all. I personally have a soft spot for designer stuff. So yeah, if you also have a soft spot for designer stuff, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And let's start. This is the bag this whole video is going to be about. This is the Alexander Wang Mini Rogue bag. So I have this bag now for around, I think, seven months, maybe even longer. So I can definitely talk a little bit more about how it's holding up, how I style it, and if I think it's worth the price. But I'm first going to start off with the what's in my bag, because I thought, let's switch things up. Usually I start with the bag specifications first, but I thought, why not start with the um, what's in my bag first. I'm first going to start off with the coolest part of the bag, which is this front pocket. So I'm going to talk about this super cool front pocket in a bit. So the pocket is actually completely loose from the bag, so it's actually like you're getting, I don't know, a bag and a purse in one. But the coolest thing is that it is attached with this cable cord. So when you're wearing this bag and you use this as your wallet, nobody can actually steal your wallet, which is so cool. So when I'm not carrying a wallet with me, which is usually when I'm on vacation, I have my cards in this pocket, but because I am just using this bag as my daily bag, I have a separate purse. Inside here, I only have my business cards at the moment because it's just very easy to grab and go. Then behind this pocket, there's also a lot of space for other stuff. So the next thing that I have are some refreshing wipes. I always have this in my bag because I always want my hands to be clean. I'm kind of a germaphobe, so having this with me is great. And these are just from my favorite, or one of my favorite restaurants in Groningen, which is Wereldburgers, but they have the best refreshing wipes, so I always grab a couple of them before I leave there. It's super random, the next thing that I have in my bag is other free. This is just something for my allergies because now during the summer I have so much allergies. So I definitely have to take one every day, but sometimes I even need two. And the last thing that I have in the back of this pocket is my phone. And it's great that your phone actually fits in your front pocket because, okay, let's be honest, how many of you actually put your phone in your bag? I always have my phone in my hand or in my pocket and it's so annoying to have your phone in your bag and then you need to open your bag bag and search for your phone so it's so nice that it actually fits in the front pocket i just think that's so so thoughtful so now it's time to open the big pockets so the next thing that i have are some gums i always like to have some chewing gum with me because you know i like to smell nice and have a nice breath so I also have a couple of makeup products in my bag and because there are only literally three products that I ever take with me, I don't have them in a separate pouch, I just throw them in my bag, also because they kind of differ every day. Especially if I have like a long day full of lectures and after that I need to shoot some vlog photos, then I always like to bring some makeup with me. And by the way, if you're wondering, this is my everyday bag and I also use it whenever I have lectures and I have to bring big books with me because I usually have this as a crossbody bag and then I carry a tote bag with all my other books. So I always have two bags with me because I think it's way more practical because I don't know about you guys, but I just don't really like any big bag. So I think it's more practical to have a little bag with you and a bigger bag for your books and your laptop and that kind of stuff. And that's also why I really like to invest in my crossbody bags. 
I was rambling, sorry. So I always have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I really like this concealer and I have it in the color uh, Y31. Then I also always bring my lip product of the day with me because lip products are the only thing that I really reapply during the day. So this is the Sonia Esman X Colourpop Mini Multi Sticks in a color California Lovers. It's actually the color that I'm wearing right now. It's so nice. It looks like this. It's just kind of a big lip pencil, which I love. And I'm planning on doing a whole video about um, the Sonia Esmond X Colourpop collection and also a blog post. So if you would like to see that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Or if somebody comments like, yes, I would like to see a video about the Sonia Esmond X Colourpop collection. If you see that comment, then give that comment a thumbs up because then I can also see how many people actually want it and you don't even have to comment it if you're a little bit too lazy to do that. So you can also thumbs up a comment that says that. Uh, so the next thing that I have with me is is the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. It's very natural, it's a little bit shiny but not too much and it also really feels like a lip balm. So this is one of my favorite products from Clarins and I always take this with me as my everyday lip balm because it kind of looks good over any lipstick. The last makeup product that I have with me is also from Clarins. I kind of fall in love with this brand and this is the Kits um, this is the Pore Perfecting Mattifying Kit and this is so cool because first of all you have a mirror with you so you don't have to carry a separate mirror which I usually always do, now I don't have to do that anymore. Then you have a little blotting powder that you can use to blot your face because my T-zone and my nose sometimes gets a little bit oily. You have a little very nice and soft sponge applicator to use the powder with. And then you also have down here some blotting papers. So you can actually first use the blotting papers to remove all the oil and then use the powder. Because I think it's kind of gross to powder your face without removing the oil first. So this is such a great set that you can first remove all the oil with the blotting paper and then powder your face. And next up I have my wallet with me. This is officially I think a card holder with a zipper. I think that's how Gucci calls it. I actually have a whole blog post about this card holder with extra photos, links to it where you can purchase it and the price and that kind of stuff. Like my whole review about it. But this is from the Cruise 2017 collection. I think the print with the tiger is so cute and it matches my Gucci Dionysus perfectly. So if you open it like this, it has three compartments. Then I also always have a pen with me because that's just very practical to have a pen with you. So this pen is from Ed. This pen was quite expensive. I think I paid like 10 euros for it or something. But um, yeah, it is very nice and it matches my aesthetic perfectly. I literally cannot leave the house without this. This is my external battery for my phone. This one is from Mashi. It's rose gold. It's very flat, so it fits in most bags. And it actually has like the cord to charge it and also to charge your phone with, like attached to it. So that's very nice. So the next thing are my sunglasses and this one is from Gentle Monster. I think this model is called Black Sheep and I also have a blog post about them. So yeah, you can check them out there if you want to. They look like this. I think they look very nice. I love the fact that the frame is exactly the same color as the glasses. And I also kind of love that they look good with gold, silver, rose gold. Doesn't really matter, they look good with any type of hardware. So yeah. That's why I like to take them with me. So the next thing that I have with me is a little perfume. I just love smelling guys. Um, no, I mean, I just love smelling nice. Okay, sorry. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Anyways, I love smelling nice. Well, I also love to smell guys if they smell nice, I guess. But um, yeah, this perfume is from Jo Malone and uh, it's the English Pear and Frisia Colonia. Then I also always have my keys with me. I just realized that I have a lot of beauty products with me because I have another one to show you. This is the L'Occitane hand cream and this is the one with 20% shea butter for dry skin. And yeah, I really love to use this. Okay, that's everything in the main compartment. Now I also have some things 
in this little pocket. So the first thing are my earbuds. These ones are from Apple. So I also have a cable, an Apple cable to connect my phone to the computer or something like that with me. It's just nice to have it with me. And Invisibubble. Uh, these are hair elastics that uh, have a very interesting shape. I think most of you guys already know this, but if you don't, this is perfect to tie your hair if you don't want to get any weird kind of shapes in your hair, if that makes sense. So that's everything that's inside this bag. But now I'm going to talk about the bag specifications um, and how I would style it and if I worn it a lot and if I think it's worth the price. So the Alexander Wang Mini Rogue is the smallest size of the Rogue uh, collection that Alexander Wang does. They also come in a bigger size, but I really like this smaller size. So this bag retails for, I think, around 1200 euros. However, I was lucky enough to buy it with 50% off, so I paid 600 euros for it. So I'm going to put the exact sizing of the bag right here and also the material, but it is made from leather. So the Rogue bag is definitely not one of Alexander Wang's most popular bags. It's not really known in my opinion, but I think this model is so practical. So there are a couple of things that really stood out to me when I saw this bag. The first thing is that I love the fact that you can wear this bag in two separate ways. So I like to wear this bag with the pockets in the front, um, especially because it's so safe. Um, especially because I like to put my phone at the back of this pocket, but you could also wear it like this. If you wear it like this, this bag is a little bit more clean. You can actually see the embossed Alexander Wang as well. So yeah, if you would like people to know that this bag is Alexander Wang, you can also wear it like this. Another thing why it's like you're getting two bags instead of one is of course of this pocket that you can detach. This is a great little purse or a coin purse. So as I said before, you can completely detach this purse and then it's like you're buying a purse and a bag in one. So also when it comes to the shoulder straps, they are detachable, which is very nice. And the clasps are also such nice quality. They have the Alexander Wang logo on them and you can just easily detach them like this. You can actually change the length of the shoulder strap, which is so important for me because I'm very small. And a lot of shoulder strap chains are just way too long for me, uh, so it's great that you can actually change the length of this. And it also has a little shoulder pad, which makes this bag super comfortable to wear. So I really love the fact that this is a top handle bag. I think top handle bags in general are very popular at the moment. And I also really like that they stay up because some top handle bags kind of fall. So it also has the iconic Alexander Wang studs on the bottom of this bag. Then this bag also has the iconic uh, zipper from Alexander Wang. He usually has zippers that zip from two sides. So you have to put the zippers in the middle of the bag. And it's also a very big and thick and sturdy zipper. It's not very smooth. Well, it's kind of smooth. It's not like the smoothest. A zipper but it is like very well made and very thick because it's so big and shiny and I love it I think it's a great detail so the inside of the bag is partly still lined with the leather and also lined with a very nice gray canvas material and then on the inside it has one pocket without any zipper but it is like a very nice and spacious pocket so why I think this bag is worth the price especially the discounted price that I paid for is because it's so well made and the design is so well thought of. I mean, how amazing is the fact that this is actually attached with a cable cord? I mean, I've been in so many situations where I didn't really feel safe to wear like a more expensive bag and I was scared somebody would, I don't know, pickpocket me. And when I'm wearing this bag, I never feel scared anymore because I know nobody can steal my wallet. And I really feel like I'm paying a price for this great idea and I definitely think that's worth it. So that's what I love about Alexander Wang. His designs are just so well thought of, so well made. And I feel like this bag is definitely a little bit more sporty, but it's still so very luxurious. So it really goes well with my style. So I really like to wear this bag if I'm more in a silver mood, because again, it has silver hardware, but I also like to wear it with more at leisure looks. For example, with some cigarette pants with a stripe on the side and a white tee and some heels. I think this bag looks perfect with that. I know this model is totally not hyped up, like 
other uh, models from Alexander Wang like the Rocky or just like I don't know bags from Gucci for example but I feel like this bag has a way better price point for the great uh, design that you're getting I'm just a big fan of Alexander Wang and I actually bought a new pair of shoes as well from Alexander Wang this week so if you would like me to do an unboxing and review about those shoes and they're kind of controversial so I think it's kind of interesting to do a video about that as well uh, let me know in the comments down below and thumbs up this video so um, yeah I guess that's kind of the end of this uh, what's in my bag and bag review of the Alexander Wang Mini Rogue um, I definitely love this bag it's one of my favorite bags but to be honest all the bags that I have from Alexander Wang are my favorites so I still want to do another Alexander Wang bag uh, review and what's in my bag but I will do soon as well you so if you want to watch more of these designer videos that I've done, I actually have a whole playlist with two other Alexander Wang bags and also a Gucci bag and also some shoes from Alexander Wang that I'll link somewhere here and down below. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. <laughs>